had to take her to the hospital and she just got out of surgery. This is her, now awake. Yay. How do you feel? Tired. I mean, we've been here. Well, we we're actually here. Today's what, Friday? Yeah. We're here Wednesday night, um, all night for like five hours. Did some tests and everything, and they just charged us, even though they weren't supposed to. But they did. We went home, and it just all started there. Started getting really bad cramps. Started so bleeding a lot. Basically, you got sent home when you're in the middle of a miscarriage. Right. So, um, we actually had to come back again yesterday afternoon because the cramping and the bleeding were really bad again. You lost a lot of blood. Yeah. So, I it did. was getting to the danger point. Yeah, because we didn't want to have to risk the chance of having to get a blood transfusion from losing all that blood. So, we just decided it was safer to come back here. We came in here, I want to say, like at 1 yeah, p.m. Yeah, 1 30. Right yeah. now, it's 10 25 a.m. the next day, Friday. So, we've been here for almost 24 well, hours. Since I've been with you this whole time, uh, this is the best you've looked and the healthiest yeah. you've looked yeah. uh, without any pain So I'm happy that you're okay now mm -hmm. and you're on the road to a speedy recovery yeah. I'm glad that we got the procedure done. We kind of wanted to do things the natural way, but it was just really painful You know, I tried to take as much pain as I could but it was just too much, but I'm glad that it's over with and I guess this is just a new start to try again in a few months and then go from there and see what happens. Yeah. And Hubby's trying to record me because he thinks that I'm going to be all loopy from the medication, but pretty normal. I don't know. So, Are you? <laughs> I think so. How come you're not doing anything funny now? Because you're recording me. Okay, but this is just for us. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just waiting now, so I'm just happy to be out of here. Had this IV in my arm for forever. You haven't ate for almost 24 hours because you can't eat before surgery. So right now she's chewing gum, which is the first thing she's had in almost 24 hours. Yeah. And she's loving the gum. So good. Yep. So we'll probably be here for another couple of hours and hopefully they will release us and uh, be able to go home and rest and recover and just get back to being normal, start fresh again. We should give a tour of my lovely private Christina wants me to give you guys a tour of her lovely private room. This view of her in the bed. There's our amazing view. This is where I slept all night. So we got a TV. We have a mirror. Oh, yeah, we have a closet. Let's see. The closet has a chair. We have our own private bathroom. Uh, this bathroom also has a shower. So, it's a pretty nice little hotel we got going on here. Finally able to drink water. She hasn't drank water in 24 hours, which must be crazy. She's a trooper. I don't know how she did it, but she did it for us. And I love her for that. And she's still hooked up to some IV. Um, still getting some liquids in. She's probably answering her text messages since she was in surgery. She didn't see any of it. She's probably texting Gio right now. Tiff. Oh, Tiff. Yeah, I was okay. Gio was texting me earlier, but they're just checking in on me to make sure that I'm okay right now, so. Yeah. I appreciate all the love that we've been getting from everyone, family and friends, and yeah. I'm, we couldn't have gone through this without each other, obviously, and without the support system that we have, so, I mean, this is the reason why we told the people that we told because we knew that they would be there for us, good or bad, and they have been, so. 
So yeah. my dad came here to visit Christina. Yeah. Sitting in the lounge like a boss with his retro fours, legend blue fours, that he plays basketball in. Well, I sold my care for my son and Christina. <laughs> and she's looking good. Hopefully, it will be uh, get back to normal. And then we will continue, okay? Uh, normal and uh, happen to many people, even my, my relatives, my friends. So just, you know, relax. Enjoy your future life. Okay, so get back to your normal life and you'll be okay. And I said, Anthony should take care of you better. <laughs> Even it's good already. Okay? I, I already said, how much better can I treat her? Yeah, and but, uh, he said, you have, there's a room for you to improve. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, that's, that's agents for you. You can never be good enough. Always have to improve. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> you should listen to your dad. Very smart man. Yeah? Yeah. So now you can carry me around in the house. You can feed me in bed. You can... I don't know. Just no, I can't carry you around just yet. You have yeah. to be okay. The doctor right. said your cervix is still open mm -hmm. and will still be open for a few more days, which is why you'll still have some symptoms. Mm -hmm. Christina's sister's hair, Sarah, with, garlic. with food for Christina. Yeah, mom says you should probably eat it all. It's just garlic rice. Oh, you gotta eat it all. Garlic rice? I thought it was ginger rice. I mean ginger. You okay. made it? My mom did. Oh, it's just rice with ginger. The rice is to soak up everything inside since she hasn't ate yet. And the ginger is to soothe the stomach. Uh, you want me to feed you? <laughs> I help I can you. Feed her. Okay. Sarah wants to feed her. So you should have seen her when she first came into the room and she was all like a little woozy. I was dribbling the ball on his I'm wearing a Lakers shirt and the logo has a ball. So she just kept going like this, like she was dribbling the ball. <laughs> but she was doing this before that. This is when she had morphine in her. So delicious. It's okay. Think just good. slowly eat it. It's so like spicy. It's, like it's the ginger. Yeah. She left the skin on there, huh? Yeah, I'm supposed to. Oh. It was funny because when she first came back and then she had to use the restroom. So she was I was in the restroom with her, you know, helping her, and then when she was washing her hands, she was she was doing this. She looked in the mirror and she's like <laughs> And I'm like, what are you doing? And she just She's like trying to see if my eyes are open I'm like well your eyes are open because you're washing your hands right now and you're fine so she was being a little weird earlier I was not it was pretty funny and then she was chewing gum and it was just like thank you Sarah for bringing the food Okay, uh, open your mouth. Oh yeah. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't eat that. How was sleeping here? It was good. Well, I was comfortable. <laughs> what about for you? Uh, I didn't really sleep much. Let me feed myself right now and then you sign up for this free mascara chest. Is that what you're doing right now? <laughs> yeah. I don't get So Asian trying to get free stuff while you're in bed not feeling well and <laughs> it's the only thing that I'm missing opportunity. Better. Instead of having your sister feed you, you have her try to she sign up for free shit. I'm sharing the wealth. In Asian Z. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's actually not bad for just being ginger and rice. Mm -hmm. I have mom eat, eat slower. I'm hungry. Eat slower. I am. Don't upset your stomach. You want some water? No, I'm good for now. Look at the little girl eating the little mom food. Are you still recording me? Because you're doing funny stuff. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm eating. <laughs> I have my IV so I can't bend it. Yeah, so you want me to help you? Nah, I got it. Yeah, if you get on yourself, you're screwed. 
It's gonna get everywhere. Where's the spice and ginger? Better. I'm cramping. It's not even a lot. size. You're almost done. Uh, I'm cramping. You're almost done. Last piece. Yay. <laughs> Good job. High five. <laughs> Good job, buddy. So we just got home not too long ago. and Christina's in the bedroom resting. Um, I don't want her cooped up in there, so I'm going to make an air bed as her recovery bed. Just gonna let her sleep. Kind of looks like a dungeon in here. Hopefully this makes her feel better being outside. What's inside your soup? It's ginger. My mom says that I have to drink ginger soup and it's supposed to help me make my blood um, come back, I guess, because I lost so much blood. But yeah. Alright, so I guess she's still feeling pretty tired. Um, just gonna let her rest. Hopefully she feels better tomorrow. Having a miscarriage was one of the hardest things that I've ever had to go through. And no one should go through it alone. We hope that sharing our experience will help any of you going through the same situation. So we want you to comment below and ask any questions. And we'll try our best to answer them in our next video. It can be about pregnancy, miscarriage, the recovery process, anything. So please subscribe below and follow us on Instagram for updates.